Uh, we got the old video recording there. We got the audio going now. And now it's just time for me to hit some buttons. So we'll do that in three, two. Oh, these are good intros. One. Another very sexy prop is a wig. Using a wig lets you change your appearance dramatically so that you can pretend to be someone else entirely. Whatever persona you choose to assume for your strip, be it a vamp, tramp, or a scamp, a wig will help you set the mood and complete the illusion. The choice is really yours, and you should do what turns you on. Jeepers, body still on. A great pair of nerd glasses in about an hour. This is the morning stream. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to TMS. It's uh, Monday, July 26, 2021. I'm Scott Johnson. That's Brian Ibbett. Hi, Brian. Hello. All right. Great. Let's uh, heck with F. Mary Kill. Mm. Let's uh, start playing Vamp, Tramp, or Scamp. Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, right. Amy Adams. Amy Vamp, Adams. Tramp, or Scamp. Uh, um, she could be all three. She's an amazing actress and can pull anything off she wants. Ding. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, uh, Faruza Bulk. Uh, vamp, Tramp, or Scamp. Uh, I don't know who that is. Uh, who is that? That's a lady. I don't know who that she is. She is an uh, actress who, uh, what is her? Uh, charm. Not Charmed. Uh, what was the one with the Three Witches? The movie? Oh. Uh, the Coven? The, the Craft. Witches of East- Eastwick. No. The Craft? The, the craft, craft. The Craft. Right. She was the one that was not um, the other two. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most Pumbaa she's As ever I been. try to remember who the other two were, yes. <laughs> she's the one that isn't the other two. <laughs> <laughs> well, am I wrong? All right, we'll do it in podcast terms. She's the one, she's the one who was not Nev Campbell or uh, Robin Tunney. There you go. There you go. All right, Roberts or uh, 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 Dvorak. We'll do podcasters. Dvorak, where, where is he? Vamp, tramp, Oh, he's, he's totally a tramp. Are okay. you kidding me? All the, right. The Dvorak is a tramp. Adam Curry. Uh, absolutely a tramp. He's even got a tramp stamp, I believe. <laughs> I saw got... it at the uh, podcast, that first podcast expo. He also, uh, what do they call it? A whale tail when you got the old uh, butt floss on? Is that what they call that? Whale tail? <laughs> Is that what it's called? I thought I heard that before. The... Somebody said because it creates the shape. It's like an inverted negative shape of a whale's tail. <laughs> I think. I saw a dude wearing one of those at the pool the other day. Two, uh, yesterday. Yeah. A what? Guy in a whale really? Tail. The, yeah. the, the whale tail? Yeah. Get out. Yeah, he was uh, a big burly dude and was out there swimming and, you know, no judgment, but for whatever reason, he was uh, he was flossing the back nine, if you know what I'm saying. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was good stuff. And, Maybe uh, he's uh, just more aerodynamic that way. <laughs> he was doing laps, you know, in the lanes, so maybe. Maybe that was the deal. We got uh, some swimming in this weekend, too, some... Uh, oh, lovely. Some swimming, yeah, it was great. We watched the Olympic uh, men's... Uh, 300 meter. Oh, so there you so go. You watch some that was, swimming. That's the swimming we got in. Yeah, we got some of that in. We also got in some gymnastics this weekend. Got mm, some of that in. Yeah. Uh, Look at you guys. Man, you and Tina really yeah, are. Yeah, we just uh, nonstop. We we're very, very. Uh... <laughs> very impressive. Is it throwing you in? 400. All? It was I, I've only 400, seen bits sorry. of this uh, stuff so far, so I haven't really been glued in on the Olympic stuff, but I'm curious if you, if it annoys you, not annoys you, but is it weird for you like it is for me to hear everyone say 2020 olympics all the time still yeah yeah i mean it's it really is like um like the super bowl when they print up t-shirts and hats and stuff for both winners yeah and then they just bring out the the winning ones it's like it's like that except they never did the the team that actually won yeah yeah (laughs) they never made t-shirts and hats for the team that everything is printed up for 2020 it um, throws me. And I get that because it probably represents millions oh, and millions it's of so dollars. so expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So you have yeah. to, and, but man. Oof. And you know what? Hey, good. Uh, I'm glad that they're not feeling the need to throw all that stuff out and reprint and make new stuff because yeah. the waste, the, the expense of all that. Um, I'm hoping that there'll be some 2020 uh, souvenir stuff, 2020 Olympic souvenir stuff when we go out there in January. Do you hear that thing about... Um... Oh, there has to be right. There has to be. A I would assume so. Yeah, you're gonna be and you're gonna be inundated with the stuff they couldn't get rid of. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. It's all gonna have 2020 right. written on it. Yeah, exactly. Um, we can't give this stuff free with any purchase. 2020 Olympic uh, souvenirs. So, uh, did you? Um, oh, was I wasn't gonna say. I forgot. Oh, oh, 
I'm, we are liking yeah. the team is huge into the Olympics, so we are we yeah, are you liking. You guys are that. always all in. I always like that, and I always wish I was more. I'm just I don't know. Maybe it's because it's, it's you know there's a little obviously there's a, a, a difference this year. The crowd's not a big deal. You they show the stands, and of course they're mostly empty except for usually it's like other participants, other players, yeah. or um, uh, maybe a coach or something like that. But um, I don't. I, I'm not a big. I don't really care if there's players there. I'm really worried that it is going to turn into. Oh, hey, you what? What variant do you have? Oh, I'll take some of that. I'll take it back to my country. What do you have over there in Luxembourg? Yeah. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. Epsilon, sure, I'll try the Epsilon sure. variant. Yeah, nobody wants gamma. You all be green and mad. Right. Um, listen, the the this is hitting close to home because here in our neighborhood, yeah. just up the road, dude who had it real bad last year got it again. Won't get the oh, vaccine um, for some reason. Uh, and mm-hmm. then another guy um, who works for the government around here, mm-hmm. uh, no vaccine. On he's currently on like heavy oxygen and and, and has been in oh, the ter- no. terrible shape for like twelve days. They think it's Delta. His whole family's getting it. Like guys, mm. <laughs> just get the damn jab and be done. <laughs> like yeah. it's not. It yeah. isn't that big a deal, but anyway, so that's that's going on. It's all you know. I got this youth thing I do on Tuesdays, and uh, mm-hmm. that's two of the kids that come to that are from one of these families. And I'm oh, like, so they're probably not. Well, they're they're are they under twelve? Or are they over? They're well, they're under twelve. But if this is Delta variant, that thing doesn't care. It wants you. It wants kids well, too. But I mean, if if they're over twelve. They could get the vaccine. Oh, well, yeah, but I think their family's one of these anti vaxxers Yeah, types. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so it's not like these, these poor kids even have a choice. No, and I really like their kids. Anyway, the point is, I had to cancel that thing because I'm not going to put these other kids at risk. I don't even know if those kids would go, but the point is, like, all yeah, right, let's yeah, let you this know that little... those kids potentially were exposed. Yeah, and we'll let yeah. this little little neighborhood thing calm down a little before yeah. we go right back into teaching you how to tie rope. Okay. <laughs> Good lord. Anyway, yeah. Uh, it was, oh, uh, if if, if yeah. only you know we could go back in time and and uh, not politicize the vaccine and just make it like a yeah you know everyone in America, everyone in the world just get the vaccine yeah. it's not uh, not political it doesn't no red no blue no nothing just get it besides most of the people who are telling you not to and that are in political spheres they they've had mm-hmm. it so right right yeah yeah well I, I mean I don't like to really talk about him on the show very much but when Trump gets up at a rally and tells people not to wear masks and and not get vaccinated mm-hmm. note that he's doing it <laughs> m- with massive social distancing space between you and the crowd and right. he got his in January so right exactly uh, yes y'all are Absolutely dumb is. <laughs> is what I'm saying uh all right <laughs> let's move on to uh, this I'm uh, I got I'm getting criticized a bunch and I need to address this it's got to okay. come out finally till right. it comes out okay finally finally the truth can come out truth can come out so you know brian will recommend something awesome on recommendals mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. parasite that's a that's the right. hot example right uh nicole will recommend something cool or or there'll be things i know are cool that are just there waiting for me loki's an example a show that mm-hmm. is now started finished and done and i still haven't watched it uh mm-hmm. but then i'll come on the show and go yeah i got mash on in the background again you know i'll be that kind of talk so I just want to clarify a couple of things. I think I figured out the problem here. Number one, <laughs> they don't count if they're background noise because I'm doing other stuff. No, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, none of these things that that are recommended or these these comic book shows uh, can we say? Yeah, just put on the background while you do other stuff. You'll get all the nuance and and get the great storyline and that sort of thing. Exactly. So I, so for me, it's like if King of the Hills on, it's not because I'm going. I'm not laser locked on it. It's just right, a, it's right. an old comfort food and it's just playing. So there's that. Uh, so pull those out. Forget about those for now. Uh, secondly, yeah, things like Loki, I, I am behind on. And I do want to dive in. I want to get in there. Mm-hmm. But I figured out what's happened. In the, the pandemic in particular, um, and since, I was already a comic book fan. Love comics. Mm-hmm. Love comic sure. books. Loved them my whole life. Um, but I'm telling you, between Marvel Unlimited, DC Infinite, and... Comicsology mm-hmm. and others, it's impossible not to notice how it's just an embarrassment of riches. If you want to get into comics, there has never been a better freaking time to do it. And uh, as someone who's a lifelong comic reader, for me to just have this access to this stuff has gone has gone to a hundred. Like I just can't mm-hmm. get enough. Every night I read way too late. 
last night reading way too late as always reading up till mm-hmm. like 1 a.m i'm like what am i doing why am i still reading this um i'm so into the medium right now that it's having an effect because this is time i would normally be like all right let's binge a series or let's right. Right. or whatever you know whatever my free quote unquote free time at night is it's being almost entirely consumed by comic book reading well so, now something like um uh Loki, you would watch with Kim, though, right? Yeah, or even if I didn't, though, I would watch it very focused, right? Like I would, yeah, yeah. I would not want to do anything else. Whereas I could actually have King of the Hill on and read a comic. Like, like I, I the, the other stuff is just like back background noise. But if I want to watch a show like that, we really want to watch it. You gotta, you just gotta focus in on it. And yeah, not have anything else going on? Like I wanted yeah. to watch He Man this weekend. I didn't. Why? Because I read comics mm-hmm. all the time. Like at the pool, I read comics. <laughs> I got in the water, got all the whatever, got out, got in the shade, and read comics the rest of the afternoon. Really? That's cool. Yeah. On your uh, on your iPad Pro, yeah. or did you? I yeah. took my Pro. Although my my buddy Darren, uh, uh, neighbor I, who I really like, uh, <laughs> he brought me uh, as opposed to my anti-vaxxing neighbors. But anyway, yeah, he yeah, brought yeah. me uh, <laughs> he brought me an awesome comic neighbors book. we don't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, my friend Darren. He used to be in the Navy and went to. Um, What's the big naval academy back east? Crap. Annapolis. Maybe that's it. That might be it. Is that I it? can. I, I, that's one that, uh, like, obviously, I know um, Air Force Academy has uh, uh, Colorado Springs here. Um, the Citadel. Yeah, Annapolis. Okay, people Annapolis. are confirming Annapolis is correct. Okay. Woohoo! So he went. <laughs> he went to Annapolis. Is the Citadel in Annapolis? Is that because that sounds like a fake video game thing? Is that real? No, the Citadel is. Um, that uh god it's the training facility that that got all its notoriety a few years ago when it allowed women finally after oh is that recent um well recent like 10 years ago <laughs> 15 years ago <laughs> took you long enough Jeez. yeah i don't know if the citadel is part of annapolis or if it's um ah yeah well, oh, the Citadel is uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Okay, thank you, Bobby Franks. Oh yeah, yeah. South he would Carolina. know. He yeah, would know. he would know. He lives there. Um, well, anyway, wherever he went, um, mm-hmm. top of his class kind of guy. I spent a bunch of years in the in the, uh, in the Navy. One of the one of the cool coolest guys I know, but also one of the softest hearted, like genuinely mm-hmm. like sensitive dudes that I know. Which is mm-hmm. such a great contrast because the stereotype is, I oh, Navy man, brr, never nothing, you know, brr. he's just like yeah. going to be some tough guy. Tough as nails, yeah. Uh-huh. Not this guy, just a big old sweet. He'll cry in a, in a Star Wars movie if you give him enough excuse. <laughs> anyway, but he's, he's big, he's a big Navy guy, yeah. but he's yeah. got this soft side to him and I just love him. But anyway, he got, he got, he has some old friend who was in the CIA who got out of the CIA and now writes comics and they're super like oh. gritty, near future intrigue spy stuff is he doing them independently or or Um, for uh explosion comics hold on damn it i should have that here i could tell you the whole title and everything yeah i don't have it uh that's right it's upstairs but it's basically like um i think it's explosion comics anyway they're a smaller indie label but but still a label so he's making them for a you know a smaller Mm -hmm. label They're, they're smaller than image but you know bigger than nothing i guess um but anyway he gave me that for my birthday, and uh, I don't know why I was telling you that. Oh, I did. Well, the point was, I read. I was reading a physical <laughs> comic book as well. Is the point at the pool? Oh, cool. All right. So I had my iPad there. I had that, nice. and I jumped back and forth. It, so it reminds me of uh, um, God. What was it? it? Was a um, it was part of the trivia group. There was somebody. There's a couple other people on the trivia team who read comics, and we're always talking about, you know, what we've read recently, and, and uh, right. Um, they said something like, uh, um, do you, somehow the thing came up of where he reads comics and, and, um, the guy we were talking to reads comics in the bathtub while he's taking a bath. <laughs> so it's like, wow, don't you worry about them getting wet or steam, you know, steam curling the pages or anything like that. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, you know what? Any place is any a good place, place is a good comics. place. I'll do it on the yep. shitter if I have to. I'll do whatever I gotta do. So yeah, you're forgiven. Um, here's the thing though. Thanks. <laughs> uh, don't wait too long before you finish Loki because that's one that 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 feels like a let's go through the whole thing before you know you don't want to have too much time between the last episode you saw and the next episode and the rest of the season that you watch. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Well, plus. Um... 
I keep hearing there's just tons of like branch out stuff from this that are going to be impacting all of the MCU. For sure. Oh like, yeah. The entirety sure. of the MCU is, is is being impacted by what happens on Loki. So, I think so. Yeah. Um, like a bunch of future villains we haven't heard about yet. A bunch of. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's already talked that. I mean, we're going to see um, a character that we we see in this. We're going to see him in the uh, Ant Man and Wasp Quantum Mania. Uh, movie mm, mm. next year. Oh right, he's the guy that um, reminded me of Lando Calrissian in the screenshot I saw. Right, is that the guy? <laughs> he's just kind of chilling. He's got like stuff draped over. Yeah, him yeah. You know what? He's 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 kind of he's like a opulent, uh, um, smooth and convincing. Yes, okay. he's uh, <laughs> he's a, he's opulent Lando. Got it. Opulent Lando. Cool. Right. Colt forty five. Kind of. Yeah. All yeah. right. I'm in. Uh, but yeah, I will be. That that's my big priority. If I'm gonna watch something in focus, that's the next thing. And uh Yeah, you finish up finish up Loki and then uh um and then just sprinkle the things in as you can. But you know what? Nothing at all wrong with uh with reading comics, especially knowing that you you're a creator, you're a comic creator. Yeah. You need you're not a a Marvel miniseries creator, you're not a uh, sci-fi movie creator no. you're a comics creator and no. you need to be in, in touch with the industry so. I do I do feel go. like I, I need to it makes me want to make a comic yeah. it makes me want to just consume them all the time uh, somebody in the chat mentioned Tom King who's also ex-CIA wondered if that was who I was talking mm. about it's not but Tom King's an amazing writer his work mm. on DC is incredible um, I will say though in the in the great battle of where I'm getting the most impactful writing from it's mm -hmm. happening on the DC app, like, hmm. a lot. There's some good stuff on Marvel, don't get me wrong, but there's yeah. something on the Marvel app where I feel like they're holding back. I can't quite put my finger on it. There's, like, a weird oh, really? Disney Disneyification of it. Like, the stuff they push forward, all the forward-facing stuff is very general audience, and it's hard to find the meteor stories. Um, Immortal mm -hmm. Hulk, and there's a few like that that are really... You know, they're darker. Taskmaster and, Limited series, by the way, is really good. Oh, yeah, I highly I recommend that's, that if you have it. It's on my reading list. I gotta watch. I gotta yeah. read that. Yeah. But um But don't but don't expect that to give you any sort of lead into uh Black sure, Widow. Sure. Just say. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I hear I hear there's a ver the movie's a very different take on him. But um but yeah, yeah, like uh for whatever reason that's true. And then the one I'm kinda bugged with right now is Comixology's app itself. I feel like it hasn't been updated in a hundred years. That thing needs a serious overhaul. Mm -hmm. Um and they it's easier, it's better to read Comixology comics in the Kindle app. Hmm. They run better over there than they do in the in the, in the actual app. Comixology app itself. Even, even though it's the same account and you're getting it for the same reason, it's just better presented. I don't know. I can't tell what Amazon's doing. They need to get their poo straight with that. Well, wow. I have yeah. a feeling. I'll bet they move it all to Kindle. That's my that's my take. I think that's what they're gonna do. Anyway, uh, so there's that. Hey, Brian, um, you wrote yeah. here the Dexter revival, which I totally forgot was happening. It's like a whole season of like, uh, hey, what happened to Dexter? Yeah, kind of this? like a uh, let's see what Dexter is doing in Alaska as a lumberjack. Yeah. Um, the trailer, the trailer dropped for that, and it, while I was watching that, and I'm interested. Of course, we watch we watched the series. We, like most people, were disappointed by the finale. Mm. Um, and uh, so I'm kind of excited to see the 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 revival. They're calling it a revival as opposed to it's not a reboot because it's the same character, same storyline. Right. A sequel would be appropriate here, and we had a discussion about what terms to use. Um, it's like a whole new series, though. Like, are they going to just keep going, or is this like a one-off six-episode deal? Or do I we know? don't. I don't know. I think it's just a limited season. Okay. Um, that would make sense to me. I haven't heard. That, that's. I think that's what the. Uh, what the deal is, yeah. but um, but they do have Jennifer Carpenter back, which I'm guessing means that uh, you know she's going to be the Ooh. Uh, the the not uh, not ghost what like kind of like what the dad was in Six Feet Under if we're talking Michael C Hall anyway mm -hmm. kind of like the um, or the dad and Dexter right be like oh the, the dad and Dexter that's yeah. right he was there all the time talking to him yeah the, the guy from Warriors hanging around <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And, yes. and, and uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, unfortunately. Yeah, what was that guy's uh, uh, James Rem James no, Remar. Uh, Remar? Remar, thank you. Yes, Remar is exactly right. My memory's well done. firing today. I don't know what's going on. It's great. My, uh, anyway, so it got me thinking, what other... Let's say they, uh, you had your choice. You could, you could revisit a show that had a finale that maybe you were disappointed with, or maybe you just wanted more oh, from. That's a great 
question. What what series what what television series would you like a six episode revisit for the finale? Six episodes? Or eight or ten, but, but, like but a just fi- one a season. Final season. One like season as opposed to um, you get a do-over on the finale, sort of. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't negate the finale that they gave you, right? Right. But you get an additional uh, six episodes, kind of like to to say, okay, here's a real finale. Here's a real bookend to the show. So my immediate thing goes to Lost because yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind jumping ahead and seeing what the frick's going on with everybody. I mean, we um, well, except they're not yeah, except really we, there, right? But yeah, right, exactly. But, the, but could the, they? The, but are they? You know, like maybe, maybe the, like, the final, the final season would be. Oh, you know that whole limbo thing that we were in. Uh, it turns out it was just an escape room. Anyway, hey Jack, hey Sawyer, good to see y'all. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, I don't know Stargate, but I think Stargate's ripe for just a whole new series. I don't think they need to finish yeah. anything. They just need to do a new series. Um, yeah. Oh, Pushing Daisies is a good one. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Of That's course, really Firefly. Everyone, yeah. Well, Firefly, yeah. No one, no one. Yeah, we to... kind of got that with the movie. Would there be more that needs another story that needs to be told? I mean, I love that movie, so uh, mm-hmm. I mean, I'd take more if you said there was more coming. But I don't, I don't think any of them are do it. I think that's over. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the question is, if, would you want it? Yeah, I would want it. Um, right. Right. What else? Uh, <laughs> Lost finale, but Titus Welver plays his Bosch, Bosch character. So that's how you do it, right? <laughs> that whole last season of um, of Lost in Limbo yeah. uh, with the flash forwards was really just uh, Bosch interrogating them and telling them to straighten up and fly right. Yeah, and the tall dude from is also from Lost, the tall uh, black uh, 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 chief right, of police right. guy. You already got half yeah. the cast over there. Right, exactly. Might as well. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, uh, good, somebody get, uh, I don't Bush, know. Your <laughs> mouth is writing checks that your body can't cash. Listen, if we're going to get this done, <laughs> he's got the coolest voice. I love Lance Reddick, man. He's Reddick. awesome. I always forget his name. So I always yeah. have to call him Tall Reddick. Black Guy, and I don't want to do that. I want to call him Lance Reddick. <laughs> uh, the Grassy Reboot. What are you, Canadian Taxi Cab? Forget it. Oh, Fringe would be good. Uh, fringe fringe is good. would be good. Yeah. yeah. I like Fringe. Uh, there's hmm. uh, oh you know what I wouldn't mind is uh well that's a whole reboot though I, I always think Quantum Leap is ripe for a, a oh. proper retelling I think you could do an awesome version of that yeah show. would it be would you rather see a reboot or a see that would be the thing right you could actually do Sam's um like you know the uh Sam never made it home or whatever the title the end title card is sure. but he did make it to yeah, he made it to Hawaii where he spent the last of his days. No, you right, could have exactly. him. Somehow he gets to be the dude who wanders around and tells the new person what he to trains do. trains a new leaper. Yeah, and the leaper's like, I don't know, go with a lady this time. Do like, uh, I don't know, I can't think of who'd be good. But, you know, have him have him walking around with a button <laughs> or whatever he did. Right, right. Luke Skywalker says, uh, I like Quantum Leap. They should do it again with Scott. Back it up. <laughs> Why back it up? Why not just back up? Yeah, Scott, why not back Scott back up. Scott back up. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. It's been a long road. Um, oh, moonlighting. A new moonlighting. Uh, <laughs> sure. Moonlighting would be cool. Blue Thunder Chat says. I Believe like, me, uh, uh, Bruce Willis probably could use some good projects to focus on. Yeah. A lot, uh, grittier Vegas would be cool. I really enjoyed that. Go oh, go way yeah. mob bossy with that. It would be pretty neat. The the James Caan uh, one? Yeah, I liked that show. Yeah. It was just a yeah. little too polished and not the, and, not the Robert Urich. No, although <laughs> maybe that's the one I want. I don't know. Do I want that? <laughs> maybe a new Spencer for hire. Was uh, is Robert Urich still alive? That's one I'm. He died. Uh, he had cancer, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Rockford Files. That's a great one. Major spoilers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so we so we've answered Brian's query. As well. We have. Yeah, there's some really good. Uh, Maybe maybe what Game of Thrones needed is just the final season extended edition where they fit in all the things that they stripped out to just streamline the, the final couple seasons. There you go. Nailed it. Yeah. Oh, I could go on all day about that show. Yeah. How I Met Your Mother? You know, we're getting that uh, uh, one sleepy panda. We're getting the How I Met Your Mother sequel. 
the How I Met Your Father thing. I don't know who's carrying over from one to the other, but... Icor, mash, but after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what could they day. call it? How about mash after? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that made my whole day, dude. That's very funny. <laughs> um, all right. Let's, uh, yeah, where are we? Let's get into it. Let's get, let's keep moving. Let's bring here. some Brian Dunaway into this business. You know, it's like, a, he's like a flower. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying that. Let's just get him in. Let's it's, uh, him you in. know, a Monday without Brian Dunaway is like a slice of hot apple pie without uh, some cheddar cheese on top. There you go. For some reason, he's showing his offline, but that doesn't mean anything. It could be that he's, uh, you know, it's just, uh, means let's find out i'm gonna pause save okay let's see what's going on with dunaway <laughs> um let's see i don't know why he's not oh no now he's showing his online let's try him again okay all right good it's ringing it's ringing we're ringing no let's try it again ring okay now if he answers we know we're in fat city mm -hmm. welcome mm -hmm. to fat city Come on, Brian. Come on, answer. Answer, Brian Dunaway. Answer your damned phone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man, we need you, man. We need you. Okay, I don't know why he's not answering. He's showing online. And let, me, let, me, let me text him. Hey, you coming today? All right, we'll as American as apple pie and cheddar cheese, Tom Norm says. Yep, both of those came from England. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that about the cheddar cheese. I didn't know it came, I didn't know where it came, came from. from a, assumed, town, a town called Cheddar. Oh, that makes sense. I assumed it wouldn't come from here. Like, yeah. American cheese. No, we invented American useful. cheese, which is <laughs> horrible. Horrible cheese. Yeah. The worst yeah. cheese. It really is the worst cheese. It's yeah, bad sorry. Cheese, man. Bad cheese. All right, I'll ring him again. Uh, no answer yet. Mm. He usually will let me know what's up. Yeah. Did I watch the Did Forever he... Purge? Is that the final? That's the newest Purge, Purge movie. Yeah. Where they, where some people ignore the deadline and keep killing. Yep. It's a great concept. I, I heard it was terrible. I still have not seen a single Purge movie, and I feel like this is another one where I'm kind of waiting for Film Sack, where I feel like, yeah, we're gonna watch that for Film Sack, so don't watch it. Yeah. If I had to guess, we're watching at least the first Purge film there. Yeah. the um, It's got a real bad rating. No one liked it. The new one, I mean. Uh, two was good. Oh, really? I liked two. Two was great. Is uh, two the one with the um, Statue of Liberty logo? Uh, oh, I don't know. This one had Skull and Bones in it. Um, what's okay. his name? Uh, <laughs> so we're going to be watching the first Purge, but not the movie called The First Purge. But no. the movie called Purge. Pur the Purge. The Purge. Yeah. Well, where's Purge 2? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Purge 2. Let's see. The Purge was 2013. What was Purge 2 called? Just The Purge 2? I think so. Okay, it's not showing up. It's not showing up in uh, my Just Watch app. The Purge Anarchy? Oh yeah, that's um, let's it. See here, I didn't the know purge it had anarchy. A, yeah, yeah, I didn't know it had a thing. Okay, election that's... year, then the first purge, then the forever forever purge, and then oh, an untitled sixth purge film is there coming. So the forever purge, not the final purge. Yep. And this has got this is Frank Grillo, Skull and Bones, isn't that? He's very good. He's oh really? Good. Yeah. Crossbones or Crossbones? I keep saying Skull and Bones. Yeah. Skull and Bones. Is there a DC character named Skull and Bones? All right. No answer from Dunaway. I don't know what's up. Hmm. Uh, he didn't. Uh, in fact, he was showing his mobile online, and now he's not showing online at all. So I don't know if something okay. happened. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see here. We can do this. Uh, how do we do this? I guess you just. <laughs> I can. Can I play for a listener? What What if I answer? If I get it wrong, then I'm now I'm answering for the other guy. Do you see what I'm saying? So, like, you'll okay. ask me questions. If I get it right, <laughs> then that person I'm fighting for or playing for, then I'm still playing for them. The minute I get it wrong, though, I switch teams and vice versa. Sure. So, uh, or yeah. we could do it as a call now. So here's what we, we could do. Yeah. Could we pull in a player and then the player 
and then the person you're playing for are playing for the prizes, basically. So, oh, I see. So, oh, I see. So the second that, person, oh, yeah. Wait, so they're playing away? for their own. They're playing for prizes for themselves. Oh right. Okay. Um, and we just move this person who's uh, from Detroit to next time. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so chat room, we're gonna have one of you call in. I see I'm already getting a call, so I'm gonna answer that one. Give me a sec, I gotta restart the audio. All right, we're doing it without Dunaway today. Oh, I can still play that stuff. All right, you, hey, looky here, everyone. We're gonna play a little Babel Royale this morning, and this morning we're not doing it with Dunaway. He's not here. So instead, we're doing it with a listener who's on the line right now. Hi, who's this? This is Natalia. Natalia. <laughs> it's always so hey, Russian. Natalia. It's like a Russian, uh, uh, or no, you're like an Armenian mobster when you say it that way. Yes. Yeah. Armenian. I don't yeah. even know what an Armenian accent would sound like. It's a lot like Russian. <laughs> I don't know. Wearing actually. a uh, red track suit with a lot of gold chains. Yeah. It's very, it's oh, very Eastern, suit, Eastern block sort of, uh, <laughs> you know, track suit kind of mobster kind of thing. Uh, but it's uh, you know stereotypes aside, it's very nice having you here, and uh, it's now it's me or you really is what this is going to come down right. to. So Brian, explain yep. how this will work given the uh, circumstances. That's right. So uh, welcome to Morning Squirm, a back and forth trivia game where uh, Scott and Talia will match wits on topics that Cliff Clavin would have offered up at the Cheers Bar. Um, you are going to take turns answering multiple choice trivia questions, and if you get it wrong, the other player gets a point. The player with the most points after five questions wins the prize scott you're going to be playing for james g from farmingdale new york mm. talia you're going to be playing for talia uh <laughs> of canada somewhere yeah in toronto canada is that right nope montreal 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 that's right montreal. that's the cool one that's the cool place everybody wants that to is be. really the cool part of canada yeah. Yeah. if exactly. there's like a an austin of canada it's montreal i think that's right you're gonna be playing for a collection of ea games talia and uh oh what shut up <laughs> no i'm kidding oh. <laughs> <laughs> because she would say well we're not gonna say it but she, yeah I know we're not gonna say, say what she would say about yeah, that all right know. so um <laughs> talia since you're a special guest you're gonna go first uh okay. and, and science so you should be really good with this one right here in 1929, two Princeton researchers claimed to have turned this pet into a telephone. So 1929, Princeton researchers claimed to have turned this pet into a telephone. Is it a turtle, a dog, a rabbit, or a cat? How is this I'd, I'd go, let's just go with cat. Go with cat? It's a very good choice. You got it right. It's well absolutely done. cat. Um, yeah, they... Uh, they took a cat who was alive but unconscious, yeah. connected their uh, auditory nerve to a telephone. One would speak into the cat's ear, and then the other one could hear it through a receiver 50 feet away. And this is actually what eventually led to cochlear implants. Oh, no so way. That's cool. There actually was some, you know, some actual good things that came out of turning a cat into a telephone. So well done. But for a while, they had to wear a cat around their neck, and that, that was yeah, exactly. Oh okay. yeah, and yeah. The, the mobile cat was uh, was big, and uh, the end Palm, result Palm is amazing. But model. there's always that process, man. You got to get from A to B, and sometimes it's nasty and ugly, and there's a sometimes. cat around your neck. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, all right, Scott. This one's for you. Sweet. Let's do it. What do moths do to prevent bats from locating them? Because, you know, bats are bats use uh, their sonar, right? They're, yeah. uh, anyway, uh, A, they produce a microscopic web around them. B, they curl up into a tiny ball. C, they secrete an odor that only bats can detect. Or D, they vibrate their genitals. Man, hold on a second. If... It can't be this is secrete. This is how they avoid getting eaten, eaten by bats, right? How they avoid, right, how they avoid how, what they pre do to prevent bats from locating okay, them. Okay, so if it was the smell, it had to be a smell that put them off so they wouldn't eat them, right, not right. attract them. Um, Unless they did the smell and then they flew away from where that smell was. <laughs> okay, can I get first two again, A and B? Yeah. Uh, they produce a microscopic web around them yeah. or they curl up into a tiny ball. Doesn't seem like either of those would help. Uh, so I think it's got to be one of the last two. So I'm gonna say I'm just gonna say the vibrating genitals. I don't know. That is absolutely correct. Is yeah, it? they vibrate their <laughs> genitals. Yeah, it. Um, no way. 
Yeah, I don't know if that creates some sort of sound distortion field or something that uh, prevents the sonar from working, but for whatever reason, uh, or at least, you know, that's what they say they're doing. I'm just doing this. I'm just doing this to keep bats from finding me. It makes sense because it's all sonar and it has to be a sound thing to disrupt sonar. So, yeah, like it would have to be vibrating something to create sound or to disrupt exactly. sound. So, okay. I yeah. feel good about my deductive reasoning today. I, I feel I, I feel you. All I feel right. you. All right. Me. Talia, uh, which of these canned foods is not real? So three of these are real. One of them is not. Is it cans? Uh, I'm sorry. Canned bird's nest drink, canned creamed possum, canned pork brains, or canned rabbit eyes? God. Uh, what was that first one? Bird's nest drink. You know, canned bird's nest drink. I'm going to ask for that next time I'm anywhere. <laughs> okay, so question. It, uh, is yeah. it thickened? It probably is. I can't imagine that it's runny bird's nest drink. Because that would be gross. <laughs> is there yogurt in it? <laughs> oh, you're already... Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> This is so gross. Pork brains make sense because people would eat that. Eyes, I don't know unless you're a witch. Um, <laughs> what was the second one? Second one was creamed possum, which explains why Brian Dunaway isn't here uh, today. <laughs> yeah, he'd know this one right off the top of his head. Yeah. You know, I'm from the South. I'll believe that. Let's go with the bird's nest. <laughs> bird nest. Uh, bird's nest drink is incorrect. Oh. Uh, Scott gets the point. Uh, no, canned rabbit eyes is. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think what is, rabbit is eyes made are used up. for, but so drink. So the drink. Can you tell me more about the nest drink? The bird's nest yeah. drink. Uh, do you really want me to? I kind of do. Do you not have? <laughs> right. any, if you don't have anything, I don't have, that one. I don't have any. Oh God, no. Um, it's a. Uh, it's sugar. It's made up of sugar, bird's nest, and water. It tastes like a slightly minerally and even the somewhat floral simple syrup. Uh, there is an odd texture from the bits of rock candy and nest floating around. Uh, Why? This is where birds poo and like afterbirth yeah, from the eggs yeah. and stuff. It, <laughs> it's claimed to be a good supplement for growing children. From a biological standpoint, it contains proteins, amino acids, and minerals that are essential for healthy development. Yeah. Uh, and there you go. I'm gonna say we can probably get some of that stuff somewhere else than it. Nest drink. Boy, are there, uh, yeah, there's like a lot of different, <laughs> a lot of different manufacturers of premium birds nest drink. It's usually made from swallow nests. I mean, that's I'd try it on the show for you and me, but I, that's horrendous. That's horrendous. I don't think, I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> you might not. I mean, be I able guess, to. yeah. Brian's not big on the liquids with things in it. No, no. Well. I, yeah, it, birds poop in that. All right, so. <laughs> Uh, Scott gets the point. Yeah. Uh, this one is Scott's question. All right. Hey, let's go to Japan where the Olympics are being held. Right. Uh, Yasuomi Hirai of Kobe, Japan, Hold took on. being a peeping Tom to a whole new level. He was arrested near a women's university where he admitted to regularly doing what? Was it pretending to be a professor and observing classes? B, hiding in drainage sewers to look up women's skirts. C, drilling holes in walls around campus. Or D, dressing up like one of the female students and wandering around the dorms. Um, but that last one's a dastardly one. Yes. Uh, I like the pretend to be a professor and like observe people thing. So I'm going to say that. Sure. Okay. Pretending to be a professor and observing classes is incorrect. I know I forgot to give you the chance to um, to answer the last one, but uh, Talia, do you have, you have you got the point? Do you have a guess as to which of the other three? I I want to go with the uh, the sewage. Look at for that's exactly up. right. Yeah. Yeah. Is that yeah. it? He that's was true? hiding in drainage sewers to look up women's oh, skirts. That's so awful and basic. I was really hoping he. <laughs> I was hoping he was well, like, you know, like, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll dress up like a lady and no one will know. And they, yeah, I wanted the Bosom to be Buddies smart. Uh, process. Yeah. Uh, there's the show I want to revisit. Bosom Buddies. Give Bosom me a real Buddies. true finale of Bosom Buddies. Can we Thank get you. Can we get Tom Hanks and Peter Scolari all up in it? I'm sure we can get Peter Scolari. <laughs> I'm sure we can get Peter Scolari. He's not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord all right uh all right so uh let's see here it's tied scott and talia Whoa. each have two points okay it all comes down to this one and right. it's a 
It's a uh, painting question, and it's going to Scott. Is it? Oh, no. I thought it was Tally. Oh, you're right. No, it. Yeah. Wait. Did I get it wrong? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. This, one, this one goes to Talia. Talia, yeah. you get to do this. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Which of the following animal hair is not used to make paintbrushes? So three of these are used to make paintbrushes. One of these is not. Is it squirrel, mongoose, ox, or camel? For the win. I only know one of those. I don't actually say squirrel. Squirrel is, is squirrel. squirrel. Is squirrel correct? I, I prefer, I don't like moose and squirrel. <laughs> it is uh, living up to the Natalia. Uh, it is not squirrel. Squirrel hair is used to make uh, paintbrushes. Uh, ah. Scott? Mongoose? Mongoose hair is also used to make paintbrushes. <laughs> Uh, Talia, ox and camel are all that's left. I'm going to give you guys another chance yeah, to keep that answering this. Why not? Yeah. Uh, I'd, uh, I'd say camel because I think I've seen ox. Camel hair, believe it or not, is not used to make paintbrushes. I, I've was heard, I thought sure I've heard of camel it. hairbrushes. I was sure that was it. I know. I know. That's what's so funny about it. It's. Uh, um, I'm looking it up right now, but according to this this uh source yeah 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 the camel hair brush is a type of paintbrush with soft bristles made from natural hair is usually squirrel so it's like they just call it that but it's not they just call it that hair. yeah it's instead of camel hair is not a suitable material although historically camel was used for ancient chinese ink brushes um but uh squirrel and squirrel and ox hair and sable it's like that old commercial used. he hands him the receipt and he goes ah ancient chinese camel brush <laughs> exactly yes all right well that's so, that's that means okay here's what i think all this means it means talia wins her games it also yes. means dude i played for gets his stuff in the mail i think we're doing it all let's just give it because okay. dunaway wasn't here I kind of won because you changed the rules at the very last second and, and let us go again. And then Talia won because she picked the right one. But I think in Correct. the end, we're all winners. I'm shipping that stuff out to him, and and, and and she can also get her games. How about that? How about that? Talia, I'll shoot you an email with a, a few choices of games. How's that? Because I, I know in the past uh, um, I've tried to give you stuff that I think you already had. So I'm going to give you... I'll give you like a choice of two from any five or any two from the five I send you. She's a hardcore gamer is the problem. And she has mm. And yeah. none of them will be EA. Yeah. <laughs> no EA games. Uh, Unless it's Dragon Age. Yeah, that's true. Dragon Age is a good game. Um, I was going to, you know what? I'm going to, I'll bleep it out in the final show. But do you want to say your EA thing that you always say before <laughs> I let you go? It's totally up to you. Fuck yeah. Yeah, look at that, yeah. dude. Oh, my Lord. I'm so glad we got to do that. All right. Well done, Absolutely. Talia. It's good to see you, talk to you, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> All right, Brian. I got to mark that Very so good. I go fix it. Yes. Yeah. Mark uh, that. Fix, it and, fix it and post. Yeah. Uh, and congratulations to James G. from Farmingdale, New York. You're going to get prizes, too. Um, and uh, we have a player that will be next week that um, that got uh, pulled. So. And this is – I'll just – email this guy is this the one right oh there's an email i'll just do this later today. yeah is that, is that cool? there you go all right i'll reach out to him uh, let me make a note here to get this guy's ad oh dunaway ad. just uh boss's boss called him into a closed door meeting right before we called so oh, no what is it? Well, i hope he's all i hope it's okay yeah uh, i don't know that uh, dunaway is getting relocated to tulsa oh you've been demoted well i don't know maybe it's an yeah. upgrade i don't know i have no idea clearly i've been watching too much friends Oh, you should have that on in the background. That's how that should work. Right. I should. You know what? That's a really good point. Cause, um, Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Friends I've seen, I could easily work with that. Well, I can't do the background thing, Scott, because while I'm working, I have to be listening to music for Soundography oh, or Coverville. Oh, right. See, this is like film sack for me. I wish I could sit on a couch and chill and just kind of mm -hmm. keep little mm -hmm. notes here and there. But I have to do all this extra stuff for it. It's the same with you with music. You can't. It's not like you can do other things. You have to listen. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Well, look at us working so hard for the people. All right, we're going to do some quick news here. Good morning, good morning, everybody. In the news this morning, good morning. It's time for the news, and it's brought to you by 
Brought to you by the Film Sack episode that finally reaches back 20 years, oh my god, 20 years, to the first Fast and Furious movie. Uh, this happened, and it got posted. Join Scott, Brian, Brian, and Randy on the latest Film Sack, and get all the episodes as well. Filmsack.com for all the details, or wherever you get your podcasts. It was a real good time. I enjoyed it. It was. I needed now, it. Now that I've seen the first one, all the other Fast <laughs> and Furiouses make sense. Yeah. I mean, I I, am, I'm, I think I'm going to go, I don't know what, the problem is I know that we're going to do these one day. But That's I, the problem. Yeah. I know. It's like, there's so many things that I kind of want to watch, Yeah. but it's, but it wonders, uh, uh, it wonders, it, I wonder which of those things we're going to be watching for, for film sex. I got distracted by BioCal saying, how many people distracted by the schoolgirl <laughs> jumping up and down behind Brian's frame? Oh, it's that background, that video game background. Which one? Where? Behind me and uh, no, not behind me, oh. but on the stream you've got those new oh, eight bit oh. video game backgrounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a girl jumping up and down right behind you. Is that distracting? Yeah. Here, I can fix that. Watch this. Oh, don't get rid of her. <laughs> yeah, she's not there now. I got a different lady. <laughs> I'll have a new lady now bugging everybody. Um, okay, good. All right. Well, there's usually like people fighting in front of that, isn't there? Like, well, uh, they're usually like rooting people on or whatever, and that's kind yeah, of what this is. Yeah. It's like a fighting game kind of thing, looking deal. But uh, <laughs> it's good stuff. Um, all right. Here's a story that made me laugh so hard I had to share it. Snoop Dogg's uh, Twitch stream. He he streams on Twitch. He likes the video games. Snoop Dogg does. Snoopy Poopy Poop Dog. That's is, the guy. Is, he's affectionately referred to. Yeah, him. he's the one. Uh, Snoop Dogg's stream has been muted for a week, and his fans can't tell him. He has no idea. He's just streaming muted because he's Snoop Dogg. Does he not look at chat? He doesn't. Uh... I don't think his chat. Well, here, I'll read you to the thing. So here's the thing. Okay. Snoop Dogg's yeah. Twitch streams have been somewhat of a fever dream. They never quite come together. Uh, though, let's see. Though I suppose Snoop Dogg's Twitch streams. Or whoops. Uh, nobody expects the streams of a 49-year-old major stoner to be technologically flawless. Hey, now. Uh Easy on the ages. Wow, no, not a major stoner though, Scott. I think that's no, that's that the, the takeaway from that that sentence. Not the okay. uh, forty-nine year old. Don't know why they had to throw that in there. Anyway, yeah. uh, somehow for some reason, the rapper has managed to completely mute himself and his game audio for the past six days, and appears to have no clue that he's done it. Uh, all of his six last streams have been dead silent, but he has, uh, but he hasn't stopped between five thousand and forty-eight thousand people tuning in to watch him inaudibly play Madden while he has a few joints. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> people have tried to let him know that he's muted, but there's one small I'm problem. Is the Baltimore Orioles? <laughs> Here's the problem, though. Snoop's Twitch chat is emote only, so you can the do Baltimore that. Baltimore Ravens. I said Orioles. I meant Ravens. You I'm sorry. Ravens. Please continue. Yeah. Just, just getting that out of the way before the chat room goes a shit that I did a baseball yeah. team instead. We don't of need any team. more emails <clears throat> than we already no, have. Exactly. Exactly. All right. But uh, it's emote only. You can do that in your chat room as the owner of your chat. So, Brian, oh, if, you, really? if okay. you were getting overwhelmed right. with chatters on uh, Coverville Live or something, you could make your mm. chat room emotes only. Emote only? Oh, yep. I love it. Yeah. All right. So, this is what's happening. People are trying to tell him what's going on through emojis. <laughs> Using emotes. <laughs> and it isn't working. It's failing. It's Are you sure working. there's like a bunch of ears and the dude shrugging and a <laughs> circle with a slash through it? And uh, I mean, the other problem is I don't think Twitch allows drug paraphernalia imagery for emotes. So sure. I don't even think anybody sure. could say like get his attention with some kind of like joint reference. Maybe. I, I actually don't know. But imagine you think trying. Martha Stewart could like call him and say, hey, Snoop, uh, you uh, you've been I've been watching your stream. By the way, great uh, great game yesterday between the uh, the T Houston Texans and the, uh, yeah. the Tigers. Yeah, the Lions. well done, the Lions. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Snoop. Uh, why yeah. do I why do I fail every season when I try and play uh, uh, <laughs> fantasy football? That's exactly. why. <laughs> exactly. Who are they? They're either the uh, the the Fort Worth Pistons, That's right? right? The, okay. the Toronto Big Cats. Yep, the Big Cats. <laughs> oh, the Big Cats. Really going to take it far this year. I'm excited about that. That's right. Oh, you know that team, uh, team name change? They changed the Cleveland Indians to the uh, Guardians. Oh, um, you, know about uh, that? you know what? I'd heard. I only heard a little bit about that. Okay, well, that explains it. I kept seeing Guardians come up in my, you know, Twitch or not Twitch, uh, Twitter trending topics. Now, here's them, what's so. cool about that. Uh, I didn't know this. I was for it anyway because I just think it's time. Let's stop having sure, bad sure. names. Uh, so that's cool. Pull that out. But then mm -hmm. Guardians didn't know what it was for, but it was like, that's fine. 
Cleveland Guardians. Sounds fine. Sure. Turns mm-hmm. out they've got these. I don't know if you've seen them. I don't have pictures handy. Dang it. Someone in the chat will post it. They've got these gigantic Gotham, Gotham City looking ass statues in that city that represent the four. Oh, the four somethings of tramp, transport, four titans of transportation. I think is what oh, they call really? it. Oh, really? Really okay. cool. Just like big. Urgh, and they're called the oh, Guardians. Oh, I see one of them right there. They're Guardians of Traffic. Yeah, and they're, they're on the awesome. Hope Memorial Bridge. Huh. They're awesome. I mean, like, so gothic and cool. So if you if you live there, I guess this is a big deal. And so everyone in Cleveland's like, yeah, this is great. We This means a lot to our city. People outside are like, hey, Guardians, that's lame. You're going to trade it in for the, the Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> it's like, shut up. Everyone shut up. How about that? That's kind of cool. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Uh, cool. You heard about the new Seattle hockey team. No, what are they called? The Kraken. For real? Yep. The Seattle Kraken? The Seattle Kraken. So we're going to have to listen to the, <laughs> like the intros are always going to be release the Kraken and bullshit like yeah, that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It just, it just, uh, uh, automatic, right? Yeah, I don't like it. Release the Kraken! I don't like it. I just, it seems very uh, tailor made for a sports intro, but maybe that's okay. That's fine. Look, yeah. hey, look, Seattle, um, you haven't had a basketball team for a long time. It's time for you to get back in, into something here. They still got the Sonics, or the, uh, not the Sonics, sorry, the uh, Seahawks, right? Or the Hawks, or whatever the they're C- called the, now. the Seahawks, yeah. And this is a hockey team. Uh, right, right, right. That's what I'm saying, though. Yeah. So let's get another yeah. major sport in there, because they haven't had, they, they lost the, the, the basketball team for years. Yeah, they're gone, long gone, right? Aren't they? Huh. Aren't the I Sonics didn't, gone? I didn't know that. I actually thought the Supersonics were still a thing, but well, now I that shows problem. you how much I, uh, how much I follow. Yeah, see. 2008. Eight. Eight. Yep, they've been gone. It's really been that long, and I didn't know that the Seattle Super Songs were not a thing anymore. Yep. Look at that. Look, when you're surrounded by the avalanche and you got your your nuggets, you know, we understand your cover. You got all. You got. Yeah, we we, uh, very narrow focus. Plus, plus, I. It's you know, of all of the the major league sports, the uh, the big four. Basketball is the one I watch the least. I'll uh, tune in for a hockey game. I'll tune in for a baseball game. I'll go to a baseball game and I'll watch the Broncos. But uh, yeah, basketball. Eh, if right. I plop down in front of you and said, Brian, we're playing a sports video game, and your choice is football, mm-hmm. soccer, mm-hmm. hockey, baseball, basketball. Which do you choose? Ooh, of all of the like a video game. Yeah, I would probably do football because I think of of all the games I remember. Uh, playing madden and there was another one nfl blitz no what was the other oh, blitz the competing one? Oh, uh 2k the 2k series uh 2K yeah and all that. yeah those were awesome. um that's before madden got the stranglehold right. it had on the the lock on the yeah. thing yeah um yeah i just remember playing a lot of that on the cheese ps2 probably nothing oh, yeah. since then yeah well let's see oh five was the last game they could make i remember that mm-hmm. year very specifically because of that and that would have been Oh geez, who? Uh, well, 05, the uh, we're about to get new console, so it would have been PS2 mm-hmm. era. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think I had. But you know, the, rather yeah. than that, let's play Mario Golf. That's let's play fine. Mario Golf. Let's do it. I didn't mention golf. I should have. All right, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, our good pal uh, Bill Duran will be here for a moment, and we're gonna talk to him about what's going on in the maker world. Yeah. And then major spoilers will be here as well. Uh, we will make sense of some of the nerdier things going on currently. Uh, and more. So hang around for that. Brian, do you have a song we can play, please? I do. We're going to Southern California for a group called the Aqua Dolls. Uh, brand new single that they're releasing called Disappearing Girl. These guys are um, are, are touring it up. Uh, they're going to be performing at Lollapalooza on Sunday, this coming Sunday. The day before that, they're going to be supporting Jimmy Eat World at Chicago's Metro. So you can see them there. Um, they're also going to be at the Beach Life Festival on September 11th and the Ohana Festival on September 25th. Nice. Um, these guys are, are getting a lot of attention right now. So let's give them some attention here. These are the Aqua Dolls and the song Disappearing Girl. If you're having a little trouble with the picture on the TV now, maybe you just need to adjust the tracking on your VCR. That's the little switcher button just at the bottom of your tape player. If you need help, just call mom or dad or big brother or big sister. They'll help you. See you soon and enjoy the show. It's Pumbaa behind you. (laughs) 
the morning stream. Man, give me fifty dollars. All right, welcome back to the program. That song again. That is "Disappearing Girl" by uh, Southern California, the Aqua Dolls. Nice, nice. The great, great stuff. Yeah, listen to this. It's Pumba behind you. I'm gonna use that a lot. <laughs> what is that from? Just found it on some random YouTube clip. <laughs> this one too. Cheeseburger body still on. Cheeseburger body still on. I love it. I <laughs> Cheeseburger it, body still on. I don't know okay. what it means, but I love it. So I'm gonna. All right. You know, I, that's what I do. I find dumb stuff and then we keep it forever. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, who? Yeah. Oh, Bill. Yeah, Bill. <laughs> yeah, Bill. Yeah. I'm gonna get Bill. Yeah, in here. Bill. Yeah, hey, Bill. Hey, hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. Join the show, Bill. All right, we're going to do that now. We're going to play this for him. Your bat cave's open there, Bill. Bill Duran joining us from PunishProps.com, all the way up in the Pacific Northwest, home of the brand new Kraken. Uh, how do you feel oh, about yeah. your new hockey team, the Kraken? Um, I, I don't really follow hockey, but <laughs> I'm I do follow uh, pirate uh, stories, <laughs> so I'm I'm in. You know what I was going to say? <laughs> go. I don't follow I don't follow hockey, but I follow Krakens, and I'm in. Yeah. So. <laughs> I can root for a giant sea beast. Sure. Sure. Sure, why not? Well, yeah. um, you are no sea beast. You are a, a member of our weekly lineup of guests, and you come on the show and talk about rad stuff happening in the maker world, uh, of which you are a luminary. So what is going on in the maker world, and what did you bring today? Well, so a couple of weeks ago, I was visiting my hometown, my little um, town in upstate New York, and we went to the hobby shop that I used to frequent as a kid. Yeah. Th this place is called Walt's Hobby Shop. Oh, man. Oh. The perfect oh. name. Her like, owned by just a dude with a white mustache. Yeah. I'm hoping. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Now, I've never met Walt, I don't sure. think. Yeah. Sure. Maybe when I was a kid, he was still around. I don't think Walt is around anymore. But there's this hobby shop uh, in Syracuse, New York, near where I grew up. And uh, when I was visiting my family, uh, well, we just had to go. Partially because I have five nephews between the ages of three and seven. And everything in the hobby store is fun for a kid in that age. Oh, heck yeah, dude. <laughs> so we, we got little RC boats. To you know, There's a pond at my parents' place where we can play with these little RC boats. Uh, we also got model rockets. Um the model rockets are a huge hit the boats were a huge hit little rc boats you got to charge them and everything but we had a pair of them so kids could drive them around and smack them into each other it was great this is a big st i'm sorry i'm looking at the google they have an internal store google maps oh, yeah, uh, yeah. thing it's a big freaking place yeah yeah so it's it's a hobby town now so hobby town is a big hmm. chain and and uh, so it's franchise and everything but yeah. um i, I I've been to a lot of different hobby shops, and I realized how spoiled I was with Waltz growing up. It has everything. Hmm. They even have <laughs> really dirty has... floors, which makes me think that oh, they yeah. got a lot of traffic. People really working yeah, through yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> so half of the half of that building is a store. The other half uh, has tracks for cars. They have a, um, a carpet track and a dirt track indoors. Then outdoors. They have a dirt track that has like jumps and stuff that looks Ooh, wicked cool. Yeah. Uh, so it's not just that it's a place to go to uh, buy stuff, but also it's a go place to go and play stuff. They had slot cars. I remember growing up, people race their slot cars. Like they get really serious about slot cars. Sure. Yeah, slot cars um, are cool. But they uh, they also it's a place that covers all the fun hobbies. Uh, so all the radio controlled stuff, you know, boats, planes, cars. Of course, they have quadcopters, all kinds of quadcopters. Mm -hmm. uh, I mentioned the model rockets, which are so much fun. Did you guys ever do that when you were kids? Oh yeah, like oh, yeah. yeah. Once, uh, we bought a set for Tristan. I never did when I was a kid, but we got some for Tristan, and uh, that was a blast. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, no pun intended. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Uh, so the model rockets are great. They're cheap. You got to buy the little engines for them, and they're only a one-time use. So you make sure you stock up on those. You got to buy the little launch pad too with the battery operated launcher. You got to make mm -hmm. sure you have all the stuff, but it's really fun. And kids of all ages appreciate watching rockets go off. Yeah. That's um, they also have, of course, like model trains or just model kits, like static model kits, cars, boats, tanks, military stuff. Um, all of that sort of stuff you can find at a hobby shop. 
By the way, just a quick little story. Uh, when I was young, it was all about um, Pinewood Derby car oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Different oh, scouts sure. and everything. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I've told that story before, but my dad thought it would be great one year. It totally disqualified us, but he drilled a CO2 cartridge hole in the back of my car, <laughs> <laughs> put a CO2 cartridge in there, and then made like a mousetrap based. It was, I remember a mousetrap glued to a uh, like a, a foot long ruler kind of contraption that when snapped it it would pin the back of that thing and fire sure the yeah mm-hmm. so it was like a launching pad for it <laughs> yeah and so he knew we weren't going to be able to compete with it but he thought all right when all the real competition's over we'll see who wants to just have a little you know uh fun fun race yeah and um, he ended up breaking half the track and two other cars. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. It's my favorite. Nice. I still have that car somewhere, and I will treasure it till I die. It's an That's amazing moment. That's extraordinary. Yeah, it's really good. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Conti- continue. Oh yeah, and, and they and they still like you can still go buy a Pinewood Carby Derby kit at um at a, at a hobby store like that. Uh, the other thing though is like they have raw materials, all sorts of really good uh, materials and tools specifically for look working on small things tiny little pliers tiny little mm. saws yeah. mm-hmm. uh and if you have a project not a hobby project but a even a home project where you're working on something very small and you need a tool for it check out your hobby store they also have materials like hobby grade or scale wood so like balsa wood is pretty common but you could also get like one eighth inch thick plywood that's like five ply it's <laughs> That's a lot. Really high quality plywood for really tiny little things. Uh, you can get brass or aluminum tubes in a variety of sizes, specialty shapes of styrene plastic. Of course, all kinds of glue. And sometimes you can find small kits for like doing molding and casting as well. Um, so again, I'm really just kind of pitch sell the pitch here that if you have a hobby store in your town and you haven't gone to it, eh, go take a look. Yeah, just I go like, bro, bro, cruise what they have. Ours, ours was uh, Hammonds, Hammonds, okay. Harmons. Har- I think I don't remember now. Hammond Hobby, Hobby, something like that. I think it was a small. I don't think it was like a chain chain. If it was, it was small. But I used to love it because it felt weird in there. It was like Toys R Us and everybody else. They were full of electronics and video games and you know stuff that was you know breaking cutting edge stuff. But you go into this Hammonds place or whatever it was called. And everything was old school. It was trains and cars. Yeah, and, yeah. And it and at first it it's a little off putting for a kid because like, well, this isn't where the cool stuff is. This is where all the old mm-hmm. people stuff is. But the yeah, more you it got almost in feels there, like a library, right? Everyone's quiet. Yeah, it's not Hammonds then. <laughs> yeah. Carter's right. What was it called? It was called something else. Ah, but it, yeah, I do like a nice hobby shop, uh, and yeah. I would prefer that over a uh, craft store any day. I don't like craft stores. I, I know wish you I could remember the one. The one I used to go to on uh, Kipling and Colfax, don't I remember? I remember it being it was something like Caboose Toys and Hobbies, but it was, you know, obviously their big draw was train stuff, but they had tons of models and paint and stuff like that for, mm-hmm. for um, you know, spaceships and Star Wars toys and monsters yeah. and stuff like that. But uh, now it's a Fascinations porn store. Oh, so, great, great. Yeah, so there's so there's, there, there's that. So, yeah, different. Yeah. So, still indoor hobbies, <laughs> still, but uh. they, they may they may still have mold making supplies. Yeah, <laughs> just saying. They still might. Yeah, yeah. And those rockets we didn't have a, to change much. Anyway, what? Sorry. We, go we ahead. had a um, a, uh, a it was a train specific store um, about a half hour from here. It's no longer there anymore, but it was a train specific store, and it was called planes trains and automobiles no. which is amazing nice. that's great nice. uh and i'll tell you what too i went in there a couple of times i'm not into trains but there was still lots of useful stuff for my hobbies in that train specific one i love trains um, i don't even want to do it like i'm not interested in the train part I, I like you know i like how they look and everything but what i like is the massive mini miniature town village uh-huh. mountain whatever mm-hmm. sets mm-hmm. that stuff blows my freaking mind miniatures are yeah. great yeah. yeah so cool there's um there's a total aside but there's a website can't remember the specific thing but it's a website that just makes lighting kits for things like that so you can buy a lighting kit for a welding shop in your train village and the, you put this kit inside a little garage and it makes sparky lights like someone's in there with a with a, a MIG welder. It's great. 
Yeah. Huh. Uh, another example, like go to this hobby website for trains, but you'll find lighting kits that would be really useful for like your cosplay project. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, now there's like Hobby Town USA is a huge chain, so you may mm-hmm. find one of those in your town. They're kind of everywhere. We have several around us. But if you can find an independent local hobby shop near you, like seriously go in there, check it out, meet the people that run the place, chat with them. Uh, we have a model shop near me, a model shop, not an RC shop, not a hobby shop. They're specifically models. It's called Skyway Model, and they specialize in plastic model kits. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. You go in there, the walls are lined with boxes for like um, uh, military crafts, uh, mm-hmm. planes, cars, I'm sure. Cars. Tons of, yeah. And, and they have all the specialty paints uh-huh. and specialty tools for working on those kits. I go in there to get specialty paints. They have some, like, all-clad lacquers. They have a bunch of them um, that are hard to find. Um, but it's a, it's a model shop. And it's amazing that it still exists. Yeah. It feels like those My things uncle, are not around as much. But yeah. My uncle would just go nuts for that place. He just finished, um, or he's just finishing up a model that is a, it's called the Visible Human, I think. Um, and it's a uh, <clears throat> a model where there's a transparent, so it's a human body. The outside, the skin is transparent. You paint little veins and stuff on it. But then the inside is all these removable lungs and heart and oh, kidneys yeah. and and all of which he he had to paint and um, look for, uh, like there's a skeleton inside that's holding all of it in. Mm-hmm. And it just looks amazing. He's he's done such an incredible job on this thing. So you'd have to paint, yeah, he had cool. to paint every little organ that are in, that's in yeah, there? Yeah, oh, yeah every wow. like, gallbladder, uh, the, uh, you know, the pituitary gland, like all these things that's had awesome. to get painted. The brain, that's, the eyes. That's yeah. very cool. That's so cool. Yeah, that is really cool. So uh, yeah, if you have a hobby shop in your town, go check it out. If you're anywhere near Syracuse, New York, definitely go to Waltz. And if you you meet Walt, I guess tell him I said hi. Yeah, because because uh, you've never really quite met the man behind the legend. Uh, no, right? Uh, awesome. Well, this is great, and it got me in the mood to look at miniatures. Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, you always come geared with just one little extra link to share with us. What do you got? Absolutely. So this is a newer YouTube channel that I just recently stumbled on. The maker's name her name is Zyla X Y L A. And she made a clear fiberglass kayak. Oh, wow. What, it's really? It's bananas. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. She basically pulled uh, the form of a kayak off of an existing kayak in fiberglass. But the whole thing is clear. And she ended up adding lights to it. And it looks incredible. So This looks like something we'd see at the Japanese Olympics. Yeah. Sure, yeah. So the idea, I mean, did she, did she actually take this, like, out and, like... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Look at that. That's so cool. We can do kayaks here at our lake. I would kill for that thing. Look at her. She looks like a she's a one woman uh, party. Yeah. <laughs> <Having it right. laughs> That's awesome. She brings the party with her. It's yeah. pretty amazing. That's wow. really, really cool. That's so cool. Yeah, very, very cool. All right. Uh, Bill's always oh, yeah. great stuff. And uh, we will look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great one. All right. See you guys. Bye, bye now. Oh, punishprops.com, everybody. I forgot to say it. All right. Nice. Uh, Steven. Steven. <laughs> Steven. That's who that's who's coming up. And uh to do that I got to add him. Okay, here we go. He's on his way. Bring him in. I'm off okay. We go. All right. I need to hit play on his deal. Steven Schleicher. Steven Schleicher. <laughs> Steven Schleicher joins us from majorspoilers.com. Hayes, Kansas is the place and the man is on the phone. Hello, Steven. Oh, I don't hear him. Oh, you hear him? The... Oh, Hasn't still... answered yet. Oh, we're rings still ringing him. Still. All right, rings of ringage. Look at me getting way ahead of myself. He usually <laughs> is so, he's usually such a quick picker-upper that I don't even... Yeah, he is the quicker of... picker-upper. Yeah, uh, of all the picker-uppers, he's the quickest. <laughs> all right, we're going to call him again and uh, see if that works. Who knows? Maybe everybody got emergency meeting calls today. I don't know. i got to ask him this question. i got a Constantine question that's been bugging me. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, and I know he's a... Uh, somewhat of a fan or a knowledgeable mm-hmm. Constantine person, but you know, you never know. Oh, there he is, Stephen. Hello. Sorry, my mouse died and I couldn't. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, wireless mice—they're a double-edged sword, right? Yeah, you know, right. Yeah. And it would be nice if the you know these stupid Mac would just have a an, a convenient plug-in. Yeah. Yes. Plug these, yes. These mice on the into. front instead yeah. of yes. on the bottom. Yeah. Exactly. The uh, it's really exactly. bad design. It's t- terrible. So sorry. 
Sorry, sorry. To disrupt uh, no, your, your, no your worries. All important show here. No worries. It's all good. Hey, I got a Constantine question before we get into Constantine. Things. Constantine, or however you say it, whatever it is. Yeah, I know. Is, yeah. is it Constantine? <laughs> How do you say it? Am it I... goes back and forth. Okay. It, you know, uh, movie says it one way. The comic books, I think it was under what Garth Ennis mm. had. It's like Constantine or Constantine, like canteen kind of thing. Well, that might really? answer my question. Well, actually. However you want to do it is fine. By totally. Me. Fine. What is your question? Well, here's my question. If the, you may have just answered it, maybe I don't know because you mentioned Garth Ennis. Is his Constantine time run the place to go? Who does the best Constantine? Is what I'm asking. Probably, probably yes. Okay, because it feels like his that feels like his backyard to me. Um, right, but also yeah, you you definitely want to read, and I I'm pretty sure it's the Garth Ennis one where he's got the he's got the cancer, oh, and right. uh, he makes a deal with the devil uh, to get rid of his cancer. Uh, it's a pretty good run. But it's like, hey, you know, uh, Constantine or Constantine smokes cigarettes nonstop. Mm -hmm. Certainly that guy has to have some consequences with that. Yeah, right. there is one where um, where he, he gets cancer and lung cancer and has to make a deal with the devil. That's Dangerous Habits, I think, is the series, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, 94. Okay, that's good to know because I've been struggling to find. I, I just want to, I don't want to start in the wrong place. He's all over the place. I mean, obviously he does a lot of crossover mm -hmm. and stuff. But I'm intrigued by that character, and the Black Label stuff I read was great. Uh, he did a little crossover with Batman there that was real good. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so this is good advice. I will check out the... Uh, dangerous Habits, yeah. Garth dangerous, Ennis dangerous Habits, Garth Ennis. All right. And, is, and cool. when the Hellblazer name, like it was always John Constantine, Hellblazer, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hellblazer mm -hmm. wasn't a separate run. It was like, it was always no, him. No, no. Okay. All right. No. He's the Hellblazer is the point, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm just kind of cozying up to this character right now, and I'm trying to get all, get all my crap straight. All right, uh, hey, let's let's get to it here. Uh, you got a few things. Star Trek, sure. uh, the uh, TNG medical set replica is uh, really pretty. I don't know how you guys feel about set replicas, <laughs> but uh, I, you know, I know Daryl makes some really cool phasers. Yeah, uh, he's been making a lot of those from the original series. Yeah, uh, the um, Factory Entertainment has announced a series of the next generation medical gear. So if you're looking for the little scanners and the little vials and the little gigas that they have, and you have four hundred dollars just lying around, yeah, oh, you, you can uh, pre-order these now and hope that they will arrive sometime in by June of 2022. Oh yeah, there's the set. Okay, so. Okay, I thought it was. I thought you had to piecemeal it. I didn't realize you can get the whole the whole pack. No, you can get the whole set. I'll bet Daryl's stoked about this um, because he loves this stuff. But I'll bet he's also slightly annoyed that I think he's made a bunch of these. Well, maybe mm -hmm. that isn't annoying. Maybe you're better off making your own. Doesn't, I don't know. Doesn't he? Doesn't he do mostly uh, original series stuff and not next generation? Oh yeah, he's way more. Way yeah. More so this OG. is this is next generation. Although you look at some of the next generation stuff here, and I'm pretty sure someone who was on just before me. With a, a lathe and a little bit of aluminum could probably uh, make a lot of this stuff fairly. Yeah, that my guess. So when is, you were describing yeah. as the set, I was thinking, oh, they're like making a miniature of the the set, the the medical uh, the med bay on mm -hmm. uh, TNG. Oh Here's yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm looking at the photos. It's just it's just a set of the devices that they use. Right. Mm -hmm. the spray the. Mm -hmm. You were thinking yeah, like, uh, hey, oh, here's like a set. bones like the like the Seinfeld uh, right, set right. that you can buy. Yeah, or yeah the which set. which yeah. I actually have the Seinfeld set. Do you? <laughs> Do you? Uh -huh. oh, yeah. I want the Seinfeld set. It's actually kind of cool. Yeah, I'm going to use it. Um, so as I'm taking photos of the the minis, the Marvel United minis, I'm. <laughs> Putting them in the in the Seinfeld set. That's awesome. I got a, I got a question for you, Brian. Did you go all in on the Marvel United stuff, or did you yes. just get the base set? Okay. Nope. I, I, I'm I went going all in on both, on the original and on the X Men. I'm not going to promise anything, but I may send you something that may get your uh, your collection into a manageable size. Oh. oh. Oh, really? Like a compactor or something? Yeah, a compactor <laughs> would be nice. No, I, I I laser cut I laser cut a a box that will hold all of the cards. Oh. All of the locations, oh. uh, all of the uh, villain uh, cards, plus yeah. the Thanos gold hand, yeah. and that'll all fit in one box. And then get you go out. online and you can get a—I um, forget the company's name. Yeah, but there's I've got a the little L, foam. L, right, yeah, the that's foam it. Yeah, yeah. Thing. Elder and that'll hold L, and that'll yeah. hold all of the figures. And so you can get everything from, you know, seven boxes or however many it is down yeah. to one box. Yeah. Get out! That's pretty oh, cool. cool. That's pretty cool. 
Look at you with your you're, organization. You're the man, skills. Steven. Yeah, he is. The yeah, I, I just uh, did the prototype last weekend, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So very nice. Well, it'll be it'll be good uh, up until the X Men stuff gets released. Well, and then, so then you get a second box. <laughs> just get a second box, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. piece of cake. All right, tell Pretty me cool. about uh, uh, Marvel to ex- explore the origins of Kang. I guess we're getting a Kang the Conqueror number oh, one. Oh, Kang the Conqueror series mm-hmm. just in time for uh, What If and the, oh, I can't spoil the mm-hmm. certain mm-hmm. show. But, <laughs> but yeah, uh, <laughs> Kang the Conqueror number one goes back and looks at all the various Kangs through all the various histories uh, coming out in August of 2021, August 18th, so people can mark their calendars ahead of time. What's the uh, um, what's the skinny on Kang? Like for those who don't know, not familiar with it. everyone is Kang the Conqueror. Okay, yeah, he's yeah. been time uh, travel uh, that's, that's pooped into every timeline and <laughs> yeah, right. he's been a pharaoh. He's been a villain. He's been the great 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 grandson of uh, of uh, Reed Richards. Okay, um, he's uh, he been everything. Young Avengers. There's a. It's almost like there are variations of Kang throughout the multiverse. And sometimes it can lead to madness. What does he do? What does he conquer? Is it just Conquers con- everything. Okay. He wants to conquer all. Okay. He wants to be the ruler. He wants He wants it all, just like every villain does, Scott. Okay. Every villain just wants it all and needs it all. I feel like you're Everybody describing... wants to rule the world. Is, I, is, I, I feel like you're yeah. describing phase four villain. Are you doing that? I, I shall say nothing. Okay. I know nothing. Okay. That's no, totally fine. Seems like uh, although I would I would mention, and I don't know Brian how you feel about novelty groups, but uh, Ookla the Mock uh, is a great mm-hmm. filk uh, group. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rand Rand uh, Balava, I believe is how you say his last name. He's a member of Ookla the Mock, one of the founders. Yep. He's yep. a friend of Major Spoilers. Does a bunch of writing over there. They have a great song that I would suggest you guys check out called Kang the Conqueror. That oh. just says that everyone is Kang the Conqueror, no matter <laughs> no matter what you think. If you have a question, who is Kang the Conqueror? We're all Kang the Conqueror. That's awesome. I'll look that yeah. up. Did they do that? How recently did they make that? This song? was an old album. This okay. is, I think, from their super, I can't remember if it's their super secret album or their super villains album hmm. uh, that it's from. But I would definitely check it down. It's up on YouTube. Hmm. Uh, just do do a search for it. And it's it's a great song. In fact, uh, I, would, I would highly recommend that you guys maybe feature some of their music in the future on we we have played ukla the mock on uh, on the show before so yeah happily we'll play more of them yeah we'll do more yeah. so so uh uh you hear about um i guess uh, dragon queen lady from game of thrones is uh confirmed for secret invasion but we don't know much else about that oh um, uh emily uh, amelia clark that's her name amelia clark yeah yeah she I, uh, she, she won't really? say she won't okay. say what and she's like super tight-lipped about it because she's afraid of the lawyers and all that but uh I didn't know there was a Secret Invasion series. How did I miss that in my radar? Yeah. Oh, my, there's so many. So, I mean, we've got Hawkeye, She-Hulk, What If. What If is next? What If? What If? What If is next <laughs> month? Uh, uh, I think uh, next month that? is just uh, What If and whatever. But we've got Shang-Chi coming in September. Right. What's after What If? Is there anything before the end of the year? That would be, yes, that would be the Hawkeye series. The Hawkeye series. That one's coming out in December, I want to say. And I didn't know, this is the other thing. November. I was looking at some magazine, and I see a a picture of Jeremy Renner, and then I see a picture of of, uh, True Grit Girl. I didn't know Mm, she was. At least Stanfield, yeah. I didn't know she was going to be, what's her name, Bishop? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I love her. I freaking love her. She's amazing. I'm really hoping that they do that, do that series right. Although, again, uh, you kind of have to see the Black Widow movie to kind of wonder if they're going to be tweaking that Hawkeye mm. comic book series a little bit mm. to um, to incorporate some of the things from Black Widow. Yeah, and Cyborg yeah. dude in the chat be says, "Great we'll, if they are." I'm hoping for that. Cyborg dude are says, we? "Will Scott watch any of these on time?" That's a great question. Probably not. <laughs> Never. Probably Scott not. Scott will are never we, watch them. Yeah. Are we setting things up for maybe a Young Avengers? Uh, I don't know about Young Avengers, but almost like a Dark Avengers or um, uh, yeah, for sure. I'm liking the Dark Avengers idea because I was thinking thinking that as well. We, you know, but it feels like with uh, uh, Wanda's kids, uh, Wiccan, uh, mm-hmm. and then the Quicksilver one. We've got uh, um, potential for an Iron Lad, <laughs> maybe a Young Thor. I don't know. Well, oh, uh, we got Ms. Marvel coming, right? So you, they could Marvel, definitely there do we that. Go. Yep, Squirrel yeah. Girl coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yep. Could we pour one out for um, dude that played uh, the fast guy on uh, Wandavision? Can't think of the name all of a sudden. Quicksilver. Oh, Quicksilver. Uh, yeah. For, but uh... The one from the 
from I can't think of his name. From the, what's his name? Yeah, the Ralph or yeah. whatever is it? Ralph was yeah. his name Ralph in that, the show. That dude oh. on Mayor of Easttown, oh, yeah. he was so good on Mayor of Easttown. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, he was good on that. Yeah. Like yeah. I didn't expect that. That was that was awesome. He needs to just keep making rad stuff. That guy's great. Yeah. Yeah, and the uh, weird thing is, it's five like five of the seasons of American Horror Story feature that guy. Yeah, oh, he's been they? around yeah. for a long time. Peters, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. he's uh, he's an interesting face. <laughs> uh, and one of the best things about the X Men uh, series, the the more recent X Men series of movies, are the the Quicksilver moments. Yeah, I would argue maybe one of the only good things about those. Movies. <laughs> maybe it's a good argument. <laughs> when he when he first runs around all slow mo, p- taking cigarettes yeah. out of people's yeah. mouths and all that. Amazing. Time in a bottle by uh, Brad playing. Yeah, that was amazing. Uh, yeah. Amazing. It's the best Fox ever did. Nice job, Fox. Uh, all right. Also, Todd McFarlane's taking on Disney. What? I I know you are a fan of Todd McFarlane and his toys, uh, Scott. So um, there's a game coming out. I think it's a mobile game coming out next month called Disney Might Mirrorverse. Um, I don't know what it's about. But you'll get to play a bunch of uh, Disney characters like uh, Belle from Beauty and the Beast and Buzz Lightyear and Jack Sparrow and Mickey and Goofy and uh, a bunch of others. And so they've, instead of going with some other company, they've contracted with the McFarlane Toys to um, to make some 7-inch and 5-inch figures from the game. And uh, one of the nice things about McFarlane Toys is they're super uh, articulated. So like... Buzz Lightyear, I think, has like 22 points of articulation. Jack Sparrow has about the same. And then even in the five-inch uh, figures, uh, they've got super posability. And so um, I, let me uh, shoot you a link, Scott, because this is the one that has the... I'll put it in the uh, in the chat. That one has all the pictures that they, that we have right oh, now. Oh, I was going to say. Of the, uh, of the figures. Yeah. And they look pretty, they look pretty sweet. Uh, so I know that, you know, the original... Um, Buzz Lightyear figure that you could buy after after Toy Story came out, and again on one of the re-releases, is fairly flexible. But this one looks even more oh posable gosh. than oh, than great. before. Yeah. So um, I'm kind of looking forward to these. They are probably going to be a little expensive, twelve ninety nine for the five inch figures. Which you know, considering that most five to six inch figures these days are you know uh, twelve to nineteen dollars, mm-hmm. I think these work uh, pretty well. The uh, seven inch figures are 20 bucks and uh man if you want to get some get your pose on that's these are the figures to get yeah. you know let me know when the uh stitch one arrives and i'll be first in line <laughs> to buy it yeah it would be interesting these are the this is the first wave so depending i guess on how well it how well it does in the stores uh or through the collectible market because i really i mean there's a lot of mcfarland stuff that you can get it at target and walmart but I think most of this stuff really you pick up through the collectible market. You know what's These happening? These all look here. really cool. Yeah, they yeah, look they good. But you know but what's the, happening uh, here? This is him getting a paycheck from Marvel again for the first time in a long time. Think oh yeah, right. In a well, well, indirectly, in, it's indirect, uh, but still, you know. No, the Jack Sparrow one looks really cool. The uh, Monsters Inc. But that bottom left one's a little goofy. Oh, boo! Uh, Delete your account. Oh, I see what. Yeah. Yeah, d- destroy your account. Uh, shame, Brian. Shame. GG, uninstall, uninstall. My cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just thinking about him the other day because he made that awesome. Shame. <laughs> shame. <laughs> yeah, shame. He made that really cool uh, Batman Spawn crossover comic I used to love. And uh, yeah, that one was good. That one. Is- that one was interesting because. I, I don't remember if there were two separate series or if it was just that one shot where Batman throws the Batarang and yes. splits Spawn's face. Yes. And so then when you get into the Spawn comics, Spawn had to get like sew his face up like a football helmet with some shoestrings. Yeah. And they were trying to say, no, this was totally in continuity. The Batman thing happened. And then they kind of backed out of that like yeah. a year later. And it was like, no, there's another event that caused him to get his Which face. Which really like bummed that. me out because I thought that was creative and fun and a great way yeah. to sort of just show the mark and, you know, whatever. I, whatever. To me, that is exactly what it is. And they know it. So they can beat yeah. me. Um, all right. Well, this has been great. Uh, stuff like this can be found in in uh, great quantities over at Majorspoilers.com where people should go ahead and hang out and have fun. Is there anything going on in your network or on the site that you'd like to tell people about? Oh, man, I am prepping the previews for all of the comics that are coming out this week, and there's a lot. There's there's more stuff than you can read, uh, Scott. I know you say you're busy reading the digital comics and don't have time for, for the TVs and all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. But seriously, I'm looking at all the comics that are coming out just from the publishers that we have relationships with, and you could read... Uh, 
comics nonstop and you would still have comics left over by next week. That's oh, how wow. many comics are coming out this week. That's a lot, dude. Yeah, there is. Also, the Eisner Awards were announced this past week. You can find the complete winner's list over there. Yep. And finally, it's going to be hot outside today, Scott, so make sure that you stay hydrated. Yeah, I will. Yay! I'm going to go. I'm going to drink. I got water right here. Look at this. Got a big old thing of water here, Brian. Lovely. I middle. don't. I have coffee. Yeah. That's okay. You that's got water my, that's in your my coffee. That's my pre 11 a.m. jam. Yeah, and you got this water. It's the most content of coffee is water. It's water based. It's true. It's true. Why do you think you got to pee so bad after? There's a reason, man. That's why. Right there. Uh, I'm, peeing right. I'm peeing right now. <laughs> we, we got this guy named Jamie. Uh, Jamie does mashups, and uh, he calls himself TMS Mashups, and he does amazing work, and he's got one here today for us for our Monday morning mashup called Tourette's Poetry. And uh, for whatever that means, we're about to find Already out. Already loving the sound of it. So yeah. enjoy. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, yeah. Do you feel the hit? I'm, oh, getting, the, I'm, I'm yeah. getting the contact high just by being on the other end here. This is great. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Who's your daddy? <laughs> See, I have plenty of time. I don't care. To... <laughs> I have plenty You're of time. You're my friend, to get and I'm going to spend money on sending you a present, so <laughs> shut the F up. Shut up, Mom. I'm buying what I want. Uh, old Dolio's. I can't believe I have to say her name. <laughs> <laughs> Great Don Holio. <laughs> Don Holio. Uh, Don Holio. So. Keep you on my butthole. <laughs> oh, wow. Masturbatory fantasy. So, fantasies about masturbating? No, I assume it's like. The fantasies you think of while you're masturbating. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, this, why is this so hard? I know, I know. Put the wiener to the meter. All right, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What? I don't know, I don't know. It just came out. It just like came out, and then I now I can't pull it back in. Man, that's coming fast, isn't it? It really is, yeah. Let's see, skin, hair, nails, trying to find head. Um, <laughs> Aren't we all? Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> and that's the cards, everybody. Enjoy. <laughs> I don't know why Bezos' ship has to look like a penis. I don't know what that's about. And his logo looks like a penis. Like, what are you doing over there, Jeff Bezos? I know he's seen a penis. A thin layer of cloth and maybe some mesh between you and other people's bits. Yeah, that's exactly right. I caught a three-quarter <laughs> view of his man wiener. And I don't I don't like that I saw it. You couldn't tell if he was uh, circumcised or not, but you were certainly able to see the connection to the waist. Yeah, we the... saw the we saw the President Taft, if you know what I'm saying. There you go. Oh, my God, that looks infected. It kind of does. It's Ooh, just, it's just... Is that pus? <laughs> Would you like some sausage to help you with the last part of the race? You may have seen us stuck in the road before when you could not pass. I know we are in France, but these are German sausages. We are German. Yeah, we do totally reverse agree. scoring than the way Richard Dawson. It's reverse. We're, we're doing the reverse Richard Dawson is what we're doing. Ooh, that's a sex well, move I don't want to know about. I really I'm well <laughs> The reverse Richard but, uh, Dawson. The reverse oh, Richard man. Dawson. Ooh. You kind of know what animals they are. I don't yeah. know. Like, here's the bear. Here's the fox. Here's the guy with tiny cocks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What? What? I may have had Don't Tourette's. Worry. We'll all hear that again in a Jamie yeah. mashup, everybody. Yeah. I, I may have had some Tourette's uh, poetry for a second. <laughs> That's for real, by the way. I, I don't know where that rhyme came out, it came from, and I feel bad. It's amazing. It. it was so spontaneous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Omega 9X says we all need Jesus. All right, buddy. Yeah. I would argue that Jesus needs us. Yeah, he might need us. A little more of us. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do... Uh, let's May do not be the Jesus we want, but we'll get the Jesus we need. There you go. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, all right, hey, uh, patreon.com slash TMS is where you support us. And I want to give some special thanks to some of our top supporters. For example, Kim Immel. You think I'd say that? Is that right? Like Kim Immel? Yeah, Kim Immel, yeah. yeah. Which is a lot just, like uh, Kimmel, but just Kim Immel. Yeah. Just down the road from us, as a matter of fact. Oh, very Kim nice. Immel. Very, mm -hmm. Great support. Well, down the this, uh, Colorado Springs. But, sure, down. sure. Conservative Long way Colorado. down a big yeah. road. <laughs> Uh, and Amber Dew, a uh, couple of wonderful people that support us at our highest level. And we really appreciate yeah. that. Also, I want to welcome brand new subscriber Tom L. Hinckley to the show. Excellent. Thanks for joining us. That's awesome. You're our, you're our latest, most recent uh, uh, subscriber to the Patreon. And uh, we love you for it. If you want to be like Tom or Kim or Amber or any of our wonderful patrons, head on over to patreon.com slash TMS and sign up today. All the details are there. Uh, if you got thoughts, feelings, questions, whatever, the morning stream at gmail.com. All right, Brian, we're uh, we're done and we're out of here. Uh, but okay. uh, we can't go until you push the red button that says song. Song, final song. This this will give you more thoughts, feelings, questions, and concerns. Great. This uh, comes to us from Evan 
Uh, Wynand311, on those rare occasions he makes it to the chat, just Wynand311. Hey guys, never requested anything before and been listening since the beginning. I've brought you guys along for three moves across this country and your constant companion in my headphones while I sit here pushing pixels all day, era day. day. My 48th birthday is July 26th. Where has the time gone? And Happy I would love a 311. to you! There we go. I should have paused. <laughs> and I would love a 311 cover for me and my co birthday girl, Kate Beckinsale. P.S. Don't tell the wife. Much love, signed E. <laughs> That's awesome. I think your wife would be okay with you wishing Kate Beckinsale a uh, happy birthday. She's got that new, there's a new show, uh, Jolt, I think, with her that I that I might be watching this oh, week. Uh, I thought, um, I saw her in something recent Kim watched, uh, oh crap, that, that she helped produce, uh, mm. some kind of crime thing with the president from Independence Day in it. Oh, uh, really? Okay. Can't remember the name. Oh, yeah, here you go. Jolt, a Amazon original movie, Kate Beckinsale. Yeah. Interesting. Ooh, it's poorly reviewed. But anyway, let me know how it is. Oh, is it? Okay, well, then I might not watch it. Well, you know. <laughs> it's got a, You know what? Tomorrow War was poorly reviewed, and, uh, well, it deserved it, it's actually. Got, um, it's got that Bobby Car- Cannavale guy you like in oh, it. Oh, I like Bobby Cannavale. And uh, Stanley Tucci. So, you know, Laverne Cox. I mean, we like her. Yes, like her. Yeah. Yep. So maybe you'd be all right. I don't know. All right. All right. I have a little man crush on Bobby Cannavale. I don't know why. After mm-hmm. watching that um, that vinyl, HBO vinyl as sure series. as it was. Yeah. He's great. He really is great. Yeah, that show should have kept going, but anyway. It really should have. Yeah. Give us that. Give us that, HBO. Give us a vinyl uh, season uh, finale Thank thing. You. Yeah. series season uh all right hey uh evan says uh oh yeah evan i already told you evan wants a um a 311 cover you yeah. could have guessed that because he's it's in his name evan uh wine 311 is his chat name sure let's get to this one this one came out on the 1999 tribute to the clash called burning london here is white man hammersmith palais by 311 This show is part of the Frog Pants Network. Frog Pants Network. Get more shows like this at frogpants.com. This man was almost bit by the shark. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, 